and welcome to a sanctioned bat rep. So here we are today with Thomas, yep. who's come in with his Minotaur Space Marine chapter. Now people who watch us will uh, will be recognizing him and his uh, his Space Marines at some point because he has come in a couple times. It is a very beautiful army to take a look at. It's always fun to play against a Forge World army, uh, especially these days when they're becoming more and more accepted, which is really nice. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're definitely nice. So today we're going to be throwing down on a 1500 point game. Uh, he's going to be running his um, his Minotaurs, and I am going to be running a, a Grey Knight with Allied Admech Force. So I'm really looking forward to this because this is sort of what I was always thinking about when uh, when I was looking at the Admech that this would be a nice little a nice little Allied Force, uh, just to see how it runs. So in just a second, we're going to take a look at both the armies and the mission in the table. But always remember, we are always looking for more people to come in. You can always throw us a challenge at miniwargaming.com/challenges. Anyone in the office who's making movie, uh, making uh, content is open for these challenges. We love to see you come in. We love to see new armies like Thomas's Minotaurs, for instance. So definitely toss us a challenge that way, and we'll try to get your pencil in as soon as possible. So let's go take a look at the armies. So here we have the 1500 points of Minotaurs. So why don't you quickly just run us through what you got here. So we'll just start from the left. All right, so we got uh, Tax Squad, Combi Melta, and Melta inside a Razorback. All right. Over here, just a uh, uh, Dreadnought and Drop Pod. Now, a mark of daving that. Okay. So it's got a Melta and a Storm Bolter. All right then. And over here we have Graf Centurions with a level two librarian with these powers here. Okay, that's a fancy looking librarian. Yeah, he's a Forge World dude and also missing his front fingers because they... It they happens. Broke. I have a couple <laughs> Forge World models that that happened to as well. Yeah. So. And here we got Stern Guard all armed with bolters. Okay. Are they combat squatted? Um, yes, I'll yeah. do that. Oh, okay. I have to decide that now, I forgot. Okay. And uh, yeah, they're riding a draw pod. All right, and then the Cestus assault ram. All right. Now, what is that armed with? It's armed with a uh, that <coughs> mag. I think it's called a Magna Melta. Okay. It's uh, strength eight, AP one Melta. Yep. Eighteen inch range, large large blast. Oh. So. Okay, that's a little mean, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got these missiles here. Okay. They're one use. Uh, strength six, AP four. They're twin linked and small blast. Okay. And it's you get four shots with them. Okay. Yeah, only one use and then it's done. Also, that thing can ram other flyers, but you I don't, don't have any flyers now. Haven't been able to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And over here we got the predator, uh, the Deimos predator yeah. or executioner. Yeah, the Deimos one. Always like these ones. I love that rounded top there. Yeah. And it's got the uh, the uh, plasma destroyer, mm -hmm. and that's. Uh, strength 7 AP2 doesn't get hot and three shots small blast. I, I'm noticing a theme here with your AP1 AP2 stuff and your grav. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd like to run like low AP stuff. Well, makes sense. Just make sure you hit with it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Then you have your scouts right here. Yep. They just what you see is what you get. So cloaks and sniper rifles. All right. And then you got one last drop pod here. Yep. The death storm drop pod with five assault cannons. Okay. So there we go. There is the 1500 points of Minotaurs. Over here we have the 1500 points of Grey Knights in Admech, and as usual I can never believe just how small it actually is. So the primary force will be the uh, will be the Grey Knights here, with the Librarian being my Warlord. So there he is right there in the front with a squad of Terminators behind him. So there's one side cannon in there, a couple halberds, one hammer, and the, uh, the uh, Felchians are the ones for the Justicar. In behind, I do have one Land Raider kicking around here. Now, normally this thing is a tough nut to crack, but with the amount of uh, Melta you have, I'm sure it's probably going to get destroyed pretty quickly. Uh, then over here, I'm bringing seven Sicarian Rust Dockers. Now, I'm going to be taking advantage of the uh, of the Battle Brothers rule for this one, and I'm going to be throwing them in the Land Raider because I want to get them across the table and into Assault to see what happens. Because uh, they got a bunch of weapons that rend on the first turn and then become AP2 for every subsequent turn. So I want to see what they can do. We have two units of uh, Rangers here. One unit, <coughs> excuse me. One unit has two arc rifles with the arquebus. The other unit has two plasma calibers. Both units have the Omnispecs to ignore a little bit of cover, just to make it a bit easier for me. Back here, we have the Onager Doom Crawler with the uh, fo heavy phosphor cannon. So that's the Strength Six AP3 Twin Linked cannon. So hopefully that's gonna munch through a couple Marines there. And then right next to it, we're gonna be running the. Uh, the three walkers here in the formation, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the Iron Strider Cavaliers, that's it. So each one is a separate unit, 
for the sake of shooting and being targeted and all that sort of stuff. But they do have a couple cool benefits that we'll get into during the game itself. So we have two with the Radium Giselles and Phosphor Serpenta, and we have one with the Twin Link to Cognus Autocannon. So there we go. The 1500 points. Next up, the game. So here is the initial deployment. Now we rolled off and uh, I did win the roll so I opted to actually deploy first and uh, Thomas is getting the first first turn here. So I, <clears throat> I very likely will try to seize but in the meantime this is what uh, this is what we have set up here. Uh, now the mission is, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, cleansing control? Cle no I don't think it's cleansing control. It's, it's mission number one on the maelstrom. So it's the one where we're always drawing up to three objectives. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be pretty constant for us right there. We also rolled for first turn night fighting, which did go off. So there is going to be night fighting in effect for the first turn. So we're going to move on to the uh, onto the game. So one other thing, he does have a unit that's infiltrating, and uh, because of my Skatari mana pool, I have a bunch of things that have scout. So we just got to roll off to see who gets to do their stuff first. All right. So it's all you. Cool. So he's gonna place his scouts right there. Now it is open uh, ground, but he does have camo cloaks and first turn is night fighting. And if he goes to ground, he's gonna have a four up cover save. So he should be okay. And the Skatari are just gonna re use their six inch redeployment just to head up a little bit closer. Cause if I can get that first objective there or get first turn rather, then it means I can get that objective there a little bit easier. Puts me into a nicer, nicer range and maybe even take out some of those Centurions with my plasma calibers which could be kind of useful for me. And then over here, we have the Honor Dur These guys are not going to use their scout redeployment, but the Honor Dune Crawler is. And uh, he's just gonna scuttle up, like so. And at this point, I am going to attempt to seize the initiative, simply because I'm now looking at the amount of, well, you only have the one big plasma cannon there, but I can still ruin my day, <laughs> which I do not seize. So, going into Minotaurs, turn one. So he's going to start with his drop pod assault. So the one with the uh, the dreadnought, what, what was it? The twin linked multi melta and uh, storm bolter. Yeah, no, not twin linked. I mean just oh, storm just regular. Bolter. I always want to call it twin link for some reason. Yeah. He's just going to drop down right here. And does he scatter? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's going to be ten inches in that general direction. So that definitely puts him out of uh, in the ideal position there. But you know what? You're in the middle of two objectives there, so you still got a good position, right? Yeah. So where's he going to come barreling out of? Um, let's put him in front of the Land Raider. In front of the Land Raider? <laughs> no fun there. All right, so there's the Dreadnought. And the Stern Guard drop pod is going to come down right here. And they're going to get a direct hit. And you said these guys were combat squatted, right? Yes. All right, so we'll check out where they, uh, where they pile out. So I'll double check. So the first squad is just going to pile out there. We're pretty sure that's about six inches, but we'll double check it. And the second combat squad, they're just going to pile out on this side right here, getting themselves a nice line of sight of that little Skatari Ranger squad, which I don't think is going to survive the turn. Not with that. The yeah. Razorback's just going to roll up and support the scouts there. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Extra little bit to hold the objective there. Yeah. The Predator, probably going to stay still. Um... I, yeah, probably can't stay still, yeah. actually. Yeah, alright. And Centurions are gonna move up right over here. Alright, yes, come closer so I can shoot you with my arc weapons and plasma <laughs> weapons. That's what I want to see. Alright, so that is the end of the Minotaur movement. On to the shooting phase. Yep, to get the better line of sight. Yeah. Just one quick correction, he actually just took a quick look at line of sight and he's just gonna shuffle them over. And because I'm such a nice guy, I <laughs> Just a quick note, we actually forgot to draw up to his objectives. So he's got Assassinate, he's got uh, Secure Objective 2, and Secure Objective 5. Now that could have come into play if uh, if he had drawn them before his drop pod, mm. but Objective 5 is right there, so he's not in a bad position. And Objective 2, I don't know if you, you probably wouldn't want to put a drop pod over here anyway. Mm. Probably not. No, it'd be, actually, is no I wouldn't have. Because no. I can't, I can't put it on here. Oh, a direct hit would have got, got him down there, but oh, okay. yeah. E either way, I think you're happy with your with your choice of over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and assassinate should be pretty easy for you to get. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the shooting. All right. 
So because we're terrible with rules, we actually have a psychic phase to do so. It hasn't been a mistake yet. So that's five warp charges for you, and at the moment... Actually, uh, seven is level two, oh, I forgot to mention. So seven, seven for you, well, five plus your master level, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, just five for me, because none of my Grey Knights are on the table just yet. So he's going to start off with Telekinetic Dome here. So it's a warp charge two, throwing five dice at it. Oh, it's just um, barely getting it. No perils, that's not what I like to see. <laughs> but I do have a chance to to try and get rid of it. Needing two sixes. Oh, there's that other six, but sadly no uh, no two for me. So Telekinetic Dome does go off, giving everything within uh, 12 inches of his Psyker a uh, five, uh, yeah, five up invulnerable save. So to start off the shooting phase, we have his Dreadnought firing into the Land Raider with his Melta, multi-Melter rather. Oh. And it's not twin linked. Nope. So, nope. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's what you get for getting too close to me. Uh, Th those Rust Stalkers are going to have a fun time now. Bye, bye Dreadnought. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> so he's going to unload with his Grav Centurions into the Land Raider. So now because of knife fighting and shooting through cover and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to have a five up cover save because he's shooting through a whole bunch of things. Um, and there's not enough of it obscured, I think, to give him the four up. Uh, so we're just going to give the five up, and then knife fighting is going to bring it down to a four up. Okay. All right. And it. That's ugly. You're you're just giving me a turn to to sort of establish myself. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and six is one and six. Rerolling because of grab amp. Oh. All Ooh. right. That's. Four. So I gotta make some saves here. <laughs> so is this just? Uh, it's immobilized. It's immobilized. Yeah. So you have to save against that. Oh, oh no! So that's that's wrecked. <laughs> it just became a wreck. That's not good at all because that's a rather hefty part of my army. Nuts. So the rust stalkers just go piling out there from their uh, their wrecked land raider, which got to do nothing. All right. All right, over here, he's gonna use his stern guard to make a unit of Skatari disappear. It's a wonderful <laughs> magic trick. So what ammo are you using? Uh, I'm using the, I think it's Kraken. Kraken, Kraken that's the AP3, right? Or AP2? Or? I think there's there's an AP4 one. Strength 4. Oh, there's an AP4 four. one? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, sitting on threes. Yeah, that's a lot of hits. That was a good roll. And, Wait, that's uh, a two. And this is wounding on threes. Yep. <sighs> wow. Okay, I'm actually doing good against him. All right. <laughs> so with a six wounds at AP4, um, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, I'm going to go to ground instead of relying on just the six up uh, cover save. Okay. So I'm going to go to ground. So five up cover save. Oh, so nice. there's three. Nice. Now I do have my feel no pain of six plus as well. So let's see if I can save a couple more. Nope. Uh, so which uh, which squad was it that was firing? Oh, this one right That here. one right there. So Closest, closest, and sadly the plasma caliber is also closer. So there's three down so far. And over here, we're gonna do the same thing. So, threes to hit. Wow. That's okay. I, I see how this I, game is gonna I, go. So we can switch dice. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, on threes. All right. Okay, that's a little bit better for me. Yeah. So, five up cover save. Oh. Which I did not make a single one. Six up, feel no pain. Which I made one. That's pretty good. So that's four more dead. So that's one, two, three, four. So you know what? That that plasma caliber that's alive, if they don't run away, he's gonna mess you up something fierce. <laughs> that that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna mess you up something fierce. Yeah, hopefully but, uh, can finish. Oh, that's right. You got storm bolters as well. Just get those over with. <laughs> Are you firing at that squad? Yeah. yeah, get that over with. So I'll just do them both at once. <laughs> All right. And three hits. On threes. One. Okay. Oh, moment of truth. Five up. Hey, uh, look, he lives. All right. So they've taken a bit of a pounding. So uh, I, I think at this point we're actually moving over to the other side of the table. Yep. And we'll do that morale check at the at the end of the shooting phase. Okay. So you got your. Uh, <coughs> Your uh, Demos Plasma Cannon Predator thingy. Yes. Okay. What's, what's the range on it? Uh, 36. Okay. So I don't know if I want to fire at that or that. Probably that. That's oh. nice and they open. And they look by, the, by that, he means my Sicarian Rust Doctors here. <laughs> this, this is the problem with bringing a new army to the table. Yeah. You never get to play with it because no. for some reason, their first game out, they just always die. 
So I think I'm being a bit too hard. <laughs> nah, it's okay, man. I'm pretty scared to be so, quite honest. So roll your gets hot. Oh yeah. Oh, they did. This actually does not get hot. It's really. I'll show you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna check that out. All right. So apparently that thing does not actually get hot because of the special rules it has in the uh, Fall of Orpheus Imperial Armor book. So he's just going to murderize <laughs> one of my squads here. <laughs> now is this thing twin linked? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. It's but it's still three bla uh, three shots, isn't it? Yeah. Three uh, shots, small blast. <laughs> three shots, small blast. Okay. All right. So the first blast, he's going to center it on my Sicarian Alpha there. So I'll hit five at most. Yeah, it looks that or way. Four. Uh, I'll let you call that. You know, I'm going to call it four. Yeah. yeah okay. Because it looks like it's just down to the one. All right. So when you're ready. Yep. Go for it. So first one direct hits. Yep. Second one uh, goes off by two this so way. It's going to hit two guys. Yep. Yep. And the third one direct, direct hit. So, so that's going to be a total of oh geez. Ten. Ten. So that's going to be ten. So that's probably going to destroy that squad right there. So with 10 hits, basically as long as he rolls sevens that are not ones, that's gonna be a removed squad. Yeah. All right, so that Let's is see. a lot of ones. One, two, three, four, five. so five. Oh wait, four, yeah, that's a two. Oh, and yeah, five, yeah. Five, so uh, only five, uh, five of them, but that's still gonna be five oh, dead. Yeah, you're oh yeah, I get shrouded, cool. And because I want them to be able to charge on their turn, I don't want them to go to ground. Yeah. So. Oh, two more. two more live. So that's only three that are dead. So one, two, three. So as long as they don't run away, they're they're hopefully going to get in and wreck something. Hopefully. So here comes the two uh, heavy bolters firing into the same squad there. So that's going to be uh, four hits. So they're toughness three, so wounding on twos. All right, but at least this time I have some armor saves. Yep. So I have a four up armor save. It's actually AP4 too. Oh well, then uh, that was a <laughs> then that was a six up invulnerable save I had to make there, or a six up cover save. Oh, you can. Either way, it's not made. You can. Well, you didn't know. I guess. I'm not going to ground anyway. Uh, I just want to quickly check one thing. Oh. So they failed all their invulnerable saves. Moving on to their feel no pain. So one more lives, and that's this guy at the very back here is alive. This does not bode well for uh, for this game. I thought they have two wounds each. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you only take away two. So one guy is just wounded. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. I'm so used to one wound models. That's still, still, there's not a lot left. But we'll see what happens. There's still a lot of turns that can go by. So because of line of sight and snap firing and all that sort of stuff, he's just going to move his uh, Razorback six more inches up. And these scouts are just going to sit on the objective because apparently this dune crawler here covers a lot more line of sight than we thought. Yeah. So. <laughs> That is the end of the shooting phase. Now, I have a couple morale tests to make. Now, I really need some stuff to stick around here, so if you could just hand me two dice. Oh, yep. All right. So for the Skatari there, they are gone. Oh, my. <laughs> yep, they're gone. And the Sicarians. Okay, the Sicarians get to stick around at the very least, I believe. I'm going to double check their, their leadership, but at an eight, I think they're good. But the Skatari are going to run away. Nine inches. Oh, they're still okay. Yeah, they're still okay. I mean, they're gonna snap fire anyway. So, you know, it's pretty much the same deal at this point. All right. And they're just hightailing it back here. Yeah, because it was eight inches, right? No, nine inches? Nine. Nine yeah, inches. You, you yeah, because yeah, that's the way you, you put it down there. Yeah. So there's the nine inches. So again, they're gonna be snap firing, but you know, maybe they'll get lucky, get a couple sixes in there. So that is the end of turn one for the Minotaurs. They did quite the number on this one flank. They took out the Land Raider. They took out a good chunk of the Rust Stalkers. That Skatari squad is almost non-existent. <clears throat> so I'm really going to have to rely on getting my... Uh, getting my... Uh, outflanking. Outflanking Grey on and my Grey Knights deep striking on. They're, they're really going to have to come on this turn. Uh, now he didn't get any of the tactical or these objectives here, but I'm pretty sure he got assassinate because I'm pretty sure that's just kill a character, right? I don't think it's in close combat. Uh, yeah, at least one character was removed as a casualty. Okay, and shooting's okay with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he got one objective point, so that does put him up by one at the moment. Not to mention he has first blood, so he is currently in the head lead, two to uh, two nothing. So going on to Grey Knight's Admech, turn one. 
So at the start of my turn, just going to draw three objectives here. So we have hold the line, which is uh, three scoring units and none of my opponents within 12 inches of my deployment edge. Uh, I have blood and guts, destroy something in the assault phase, and I have secure objective one. So I got some stuff that is doable here. So we're going to try and rally these guys. Now they're under 25%, so they do need double ones to rally. <sighs> so close. So close. <laughs> So they're going to keep running six inches. Oh, they might still be on the table. Oh. Nope. Unfortunately, this first guy here with the Omnispecs is within five inches of the table edge. So they are gone. All right. I need my reserves to come in. So these Terminators with Librarian. Nope. <laughs> and these fellas over here. Nope. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter, I think. All right. Moving on to shoot our movement phase. So over here, I just checked out the measurements and they got nine inches because of Dune Strider, which is enough just to bring them up to there, keep them right out of uh, range of the Dreadnought there, which I'm hopefully gonna shoot to death, and give them a nice charge arc, actually, on uh, those Stern Guard there, so I don't know, maybe they'll be able to do something. We'll see. Uh, over here, these guys are actually just going to stay put simply because they got to start taking out some uh, some stuff. They're looking at that dreadnought there, and the Dune Crawler is actually just going to shift back a tiny little bit like so. This secures hold the line, uh, which is important for me at the moment, and it keeps line of our uh, line of uh, line of sight fire arcs on things, and uh, maybe he'll be able to take some stuff out. So. I do not have a psychic phase at this point because my granites did not come on, so moving on to the shooting phase. So I did forget, I am going to declare I'm using a Doctor Imperative, so I'm going to increase my Ballistic skill by plus one uh, for all my all my admech stuff. Uh, so it's not going to matter for the Rust Doctors, but uh, these guys over here, that means they're going to be hitting on twos now, which is very important. So we're going to start with uh, shooting here. Uh, I think we're going to fire the Rangers. With the uh, with their arc weaponry into that dreadnought right there, hopefully taking it out. Okay. So firing the two arc rifles into the uh, dreadnought right there. Ballistic skill five because of the uh, doctrines. So hitting on twos. They both hit. Now this is haywire. Yep. So uh, I'm I'm looking for some sixes here. No sixes, but that's going to be two uh, two glances as a result. Yep. So he is down to one hull point remaining at the moment. And uh, the only other thing I can fire at it that can hurt it from that squad is the Arquebus. So hitting on twos, which hits. Now this is a sniper weapon with armor bane. Yep, so two plus. So, okay. so I believe sniper counts as strength three? Um, yeah. It yeah, does. yeah, so uh, need to roll high on this. Which uh, three so plus eight, that's 11, 11 on the side arc. What's the side arc of the Dreadnought? Uh, 12. 12? Yeah, so that's not doing anything. All right. Well, it stripped two hull points at least. Yeah. And the Onager Dune Crawler is, uh, he's not going to look at the Dreadnought right there. Instead, he's going to look at the Stern card back there because he's got a three AP3 shots. That might take some guys out. So, and this is Twin Link. So hitting on twos, re-rolling. So good thing for the re-roll there. No. Okay. And this is Strength 6 AP3. So that's only one wound going through. Um, now you do have, it is night fighting and I'm shooting through a unit. So you're gonna have a five up cover save. Okay, yeah. so. Five up. Nope. Nope. So that guy at least it killed one guy. Now I do have the two, or sorry, the one Cognus Heavy Stubber. So that's, uh, that's gonna hit. And that's gonna wound a bunch of times as well. So, so you got three, three up armor saves here. And one more is going to go down. Now, is that your sergeant there? Um, my sergeant's actually here. Oh, the okay. Squad. All right, so that's just another dead one. Yeah. All right, that's not too bad. So, and that is going to be a morale test on that unit at the very least. Oh, so, um, are they fearless? Tactics, they oh, that's take. right, they don't take up from... All right, so it's not going to be a morale test. That just means my securians might actually be able to get in there and chomp them up. Yeah. <laughs> but that is all my shooting, so moving into the assault phase. So it's an 11 inch charge because it's going through difficult terrain, uh, otherwise it would just be 9 inches. Now because of Dune Strider I am adding plus 3 to my roll here, so I basically need to roll a 7 to get into uh, into close combat. Average roll. 
which is yeah. seven. Finally, some luck for me. Oh. Uh, but you do have your Snapfire, or your Overwatch. Yes. Dang. All right, so we're gonna see what his Overwatch is. So he's got six Bolter Shots. Uh, can you choose ammo for this? Uh, yes, I can. Yeah, of course you can. So right. I think I'm gonna choose... The AP4 ammo? Probably the AP4 ammo. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. That's, I think that's the smart move, the AP4 ammo. I was thinking about poison, <laughs> but yeah. All right, so uh, hitting on sixes. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So you're in. Okay. So they're just going to shift all the way over here. And uh, I finally get to see what these guys do in close combat. I'm, I'm kind of excited. You know what I should have done? I should have done the, uh, what was it? The gets hot one and try to kill my own guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that would have taken me out of charge that. range. It would have been interesting. I, I don't know if it really would have been worthwhile. But no. <laughs> anyway, so the Rust Darkers are in combat. So before anything else happens, at the initiative 10 step, I do have the uh, the data spike, so that's going to give a uh, an initiative 10 attack here. So uh, your weapon skill four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yep, that's going to be a hit, and I'm pretty sure that strength is user. So the data spike hit, and there's strength five on the charge because of furious charge. No wound. No. All right. So now we're going to go to initiative four, where everyone has. Uh, is added an initiative four, so you know what? Let's just get mine out of the way quickly. Yeah, sure. Because I want to feel good about something for a second. <laughs> so these are all uh, going to be hitting on fours, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's hitting on fours. Now these all have the transonic rule. So basically, this round they're going to be uh, rending, and okay. then every further round they're going to be AP two. So. <sighs> Just gonna go double check their weapon skill for a second. Yeah. All right. So I completely whiffed that. I only got two hits in. Now the saving grace will be if these are sixes. Hey. Okay. So at the very least, you have two dead marines. Yeah. <clears throat> and I just forgot I was supposed to roll three of those separately because of uh, the transonic, uh, the tr or not transonic, the uh, the cord claw. Okay. I don't think it would have mattered very much because I only got the two hits, but the cord claw basically is a fleshbane attack with the transonic special rule. Oh, okay. So it would have been wounding on two plus, but again, because I rolled two sixes, it's not really going to matter. I'll just have to try and remember that if they live through another turn. Yeah. So there's going to be two dead, but you're still going to be getting, what, six attacks back? Yeah, six attacks. Yeah, six attacks back. Hitting on fours. Okay. So Whiff for whiff. Yeah, whiff <laughs> for whiff. So at the very least, that's happening there. Now, ironically, I'm really hoping you don't run away. <laughs> I don't want you to run away because they are dead otherwise. Yeah, I'm leadership seven now, so let's see what happens. Good. Oh, they're in. Good. So, everyone's just going to pile in there, and that combat is going to continue, which is probably the best outcome I could have hoped for right there. All right. That is the end of my assault phase. Moving into Minotaurs, turn two. So, rolling for reserves, Deathstorm first. Yep. Yep. And, and the Cestus? No. Nope. No. Okay. And a little bit of uh, a little bit of reprieve for me here. So you got behind enemy lines. All right. So you need to score a unit within 12 inches of my table edge um, to get a point. If you have three or more, you're going to get uh, D3 victory points. And that reminds me, we have to take a look at my victory points to see if I got anything. And just before I forget, I was able to achieve hold the line. So there was a victory point. And uh, Blood and Guts would have been nice to get, but uh, I think I'd rather keep those guys alive for one more turn and maybe get one more charge off. All right, so he's gonna drop down his drop pod right here. He's gonna put it right behind the Dune Strider, and it's gonna be a direct hit. All right, so. So that's gonna be a lot of firepower coming into uh, probably those Skatari there. But it does also mean you have a pretty good chance of getting uh, behind enemy lines. Am I allowed to rotate this any way I want? I think so, because okay. technically you're still placing it, right? Yeah. I guess I want something like... Oh, actually, I can only put two guns at you. Yeah, that's all I can do. All right. Oh, <laughs> you don't have your full firepower. No. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm legitimately sad for you right now. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're well, there he is. On the inside. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. So, uh, yeah, he's got a good line of arc. <laughs> so moving on to the rest of his movement phase. Like so. So his Razorback is just going to uh, go into reverse. Actually, and uh, Maybe I should just go like this. Just go like that? Yeah, yeah that probably makes can, more sense because you do have the side hatch. Yeah. Yeah. Let's and uh, there's what, a couple melted guns in there? Two melted guns. Two one, melted guns. One combi, one regular. <clears throat> okay. So hopefully I can get some behind enemy lines here. 
I should be able to. Uh, we'll have to double check, but I yeah. think you're probably in at that point. Yes, right. Yeah, there. Right there. I, I, I think you're probably in. We'll double check it in just a second. Yeah. But uh, you should be good. All right. So I'm just going to pile them all out there. So we actually just quickly measured it, and he's actually a millimeter out. Yep. Now, as some people have watched the game with Steve and I, you'll uh, you'll know that I, I had some pretty loose uh, ideas of measuring until I had a discussion with Clarence, and uh, <laughs> he actually convinced me that because of the nature of doing production and whatnot, I should try to be as exact as possible, because people do try to learn off us. Mm -hmm. So Clarence, this is for you, buddy. He was a millimeter out. He did not get hold the, or he did not get behind enemy lines with that unit. So that that's for you. These guys over here are going to move through difficult terrain. Six inches. All right. That's a good chunk of movement right there. Just going to put them a little bit closer and uh, move towards objective two. I think at this point you don't really need to draw down or anything like that or discard. You're you're good with your objectives because you're probably going to table me. Uh, uh not yet. Uh. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, what about your uh, predator right there? Is he right. happy where he is? Um. <laughs> uh, I don't. I really don't want to move him, but I think I should. All right. Just to get some better shots at you, so he's gonna move up no like worries. so. Oh, actually, that should be. Uh, oh yeah, because that is uh, that is a ruin. So uh, I'm gonna keep him there. Actually, you're gonna keep him there instead. You know what? My luck lately, like hypothetical roll here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you made the right call. At least you <laughs> decide to keep him there before you rolled, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. The All Centurions right. over here. Yeah, they're going to move uh, their difficult terrain here. Just get up to objective five. Four. Four inches. <laughs> uh, just out of range still. Yeah, but you know what? You probably don't need their firepower. You could probably run them if you wanted to. Actually, Centurions can't run. Oh, really? Yeah. They're uh, slow and purposeful? or? Yep. Oh, interesting. All right. And over here, we have these uh, these guys right here. Stern Guard. They're your, they're your last hope. I don't think they could even get in there. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to do with these guys, because right now they're in a pretty bad spot. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good. Well, you could reposition. You are sitting on objective three, so that's something you could always just sit on and hope yeah. to draw it at some point, right? I also have the drop pod sitting on that. Oh, that is true. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I think, I, no, I don't want to join them in combat because they're AP2 now. Yes, they're going to be AP2 now, so they're just going to mow through you. I'm going to, hopefully. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> All right, so just, they're just going to reposition there. Uh, gee, it doesn't even matter. Because they're just going to run up to me anyways after they kill that guy. But it's going to be another turn of uh, rending, not AP2, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And what about your Dreadnought right here? Your two hull point Dreadnought. Yeah, he's going to have to uh, help go, him out. Go in there? Yeah. All right. Oh, one inch away. So that is the movement phase. Yep. Moving into the psychic phase. So got uh, three plus two so for five. five warp charges. So he's going to go for telekinetic dome again. So it's a warp charge two. Yep. And, oh, and no perils, but three. No perils, but he did get with three? Yeah. All right, so I need three sixes. Nope. All right, so Teleconnect Dome goes off. So now your drop pod also has a uh, invulnerable save at this point. My drop pod? Because it's any units within uh, within well, 12 inches, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not really meaningful <laughs> or anything, but, you know, it's there, right? Yeah. So anyway, so that's the psychic phase. Moving in to the shooting phase. Okay. So he's just going to run the scouts. He does have Crusader for six, six inches. <laughs> uh, that's tr no, can't get up there. So I'm just going to move as close as possible. Yeah, these guys are basically just getting into good positions and yeah. making sure they can take the objectives that they need to take. Do the melt Actually, So over here, it's the, uh, the squad that just piled out. It has a melt and a combi melta. Yep. And uh, how are you going to do this? I'm going to fire the melt at them. Oh, okay. So hitting on threes. One hit. Yep. And then... Uh, so 2d6 yeah, because you're in melter range. Yeah, you're right. Yep. And that's so that's that. definitely in. So I do have a 6-up invulnerable save. Which I do not make. So, so. plus 2 on the chart. And it's uh, immobilized. Okay. You know what? I could deal with immobilized. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like wrecked or explodes or yep. weapon destroyed. That's not what I want to deal with. Immobilized, I can deal with. Uh, so he's down to two hull points. Yeah. Or maybe one. I'll have to double check that. And now he's just going to toss a crack grenade, just hoping for that six. So three. So it hits. And six. Nope. Nothing. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's only down to two hull points at this point. He's still kicking around. Yeah. And the drop pod, with those are assault cannons, right? Yes. Yeah. So just going to fire into the rear over there. 
put it on threes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all four hit. So uh, needing fours here. Yeah. Yeah, because they're strength seven, right? Oh, strength uh, six. Oh, strength six? Oh, yeah. so uh, needing fives. So one glance. Six up in vol. Nope. So that's another glancing hit. Goes down to one. All right. All right. The Elder Assault Cannon is going to fire into this group of Skatari here. So hitting on threes. That's three hits. And on twos? Yep, wounding on twos. All right. And no, and an AP4. Uh, yeah, and uh, they are they are in ruins there, but the front three are not, unfortunately. So, it's dead, 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 because I cannot risk them going to ground, unfortunately. So that's three dead. So the Demos Predator is going to fire its plasma cannon over at the Skatari. So it's going to land on five, I think? Uh, yeah, it looks like five. Okay. Yeah, it looks like five. So, so first, first one is, it. yep. Second one. Um, that's scattering a lot. Ooh, that is. That uh, I don't think it's gonna hit your your Marines, but it might hit your drop pod. Probably. Uh, what is that? Sorry, that's. Uh, it's gonna be six inches. Yeah. So it's gonna hit my drop pod. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Hey, uh, it is what it is. Third shot. Direct and hit. direct hit. So that's gonna be ten. Ooh, geez, ten hits. Yeah, and one on mine. So and one on yours. Let's do mine first for fun. Yep. And let's see, it's seven, so I need a uh, five. Okay. No. Nothing. Okay. So ten wounds, or ten hits, wounding on twos. I see uh, one, so two, ones. Okay, so now a bunch of four up cover saves need to be made here. Come back here, you. Bunch of four up cover saves. Oh. Hey, only two go down. So one, two. That's not too bad. I still have my arc rifle and my arc pistol. Yeah. So I still got some options here. And you got a heavy bolter? Yeah, just the one. Yeah, just the one heavy bolter? Yep. Actually, I don't even think I can see you at this. Oh, uh, yeah, I can actually. There's this one window here. Oh, yeah, with the spawns, and you should definitely be able to see it. So hitting on threes. Two, two hits. And on threes again, or twos actually. Two wounds. And that's one more dead. So just this front guy right there. Mm -hmm. So he has declared a split fire. Uh, so uh, what uh, what thing is split firing at what? Oh, because uh, you have to do the split fire first. Yeah. So grab cannons at the doom strider. Now I think it's just one unit gets one to unit? do the split fire. Oh. Because because uh, you're firing at two targets, right? Yes. So you want your grab cannons at the doom crawler. Yeah. So what what's the split fire then? Oh, I can't. Uh... Oh, I guess I can't split fire the weapons into units. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure. You know what? We're going to double check that quickly. Yeah, shots. So he's going to. The one split firing is this far guy right here. And he's going to fire at the Skatari man, or the Skatari right here. Yep. So uh, so we have that covered. And then the other two are going to fire at the Doom Crawler right here. Yeah. All right. So uh, which one are you going to resolve first? Uh, let's do the 10 shots at the Doom Crawler. Okay. Hitting on threes. Yep. That's a good solid hit. Wow. I need. Oh, that's a two. That's still a good solid hit. And uh, sixes. And oh, I got. Well, I'll re-roll these because grab amps. It's still only one. You can you can chew. They they are they not? Uh, is it only a six? Of, that's a result. Yeah. It's, okay. Grab uh, can only hurt uh, vehicles on a six. And, and unfortunately, I did not uh, did not make it there. So the Doom Crawler has become a wreck at this point, which is unfortunate. Oh. So, and the uh, the split firing guy firing at the Skatari. Yep, he's gonna fire five uh, grab shots. So, four hit. Okay, now they're armor four. So, fours and re rolling. And uh, four fours, Jeez. all right. All right then. Today's my day, apparently. And two are gonna die. Okay. So, unfortunately, he's dead first, and now my Omnispex is gone as well. Okay. That's unfortunate. But they're still around as long as they don't run away. Yeah. So now he's gonna fire one storm bolter from the draw pot into the Skatari. Threes. Two hits. And threes again. Nothing. And no wounds. Alright, is that the end of your shooting there? Yeah, that's the end of my shooting. Alright, and we'll figure out if you're running those guys in a second. Yeah. But uh, let's just see if this Skatari uh, run away. Oh my god. <sighs> of course they do. And that's not right. They're that's gone. not right. <laughs> this has not been a good day for the uh, for the Admech and the Imperium. Everything is either running away or just crumpling at the, like, the smallest sign of opposition. Yeah. So, uh, would you like to run this unit over here? 
Um, yeah, might as well. All right. Okay. I have Crusader them so I can get behind yep. your lines, hopefully. That makes sense. And six. Yeah. So there's this turn guard squad just uh, moving over to here, just to make sure he gets the objective. Uh, at this point, we are moving into the assault phase, and I think uh, you only have one charge that you're probably going to declare. Yeah. Right over there. Now it is through difficult terrain. Oh, you're so, right. So uh, double ones. If you roll snake eyes, he's not in. Oh. No, that's not snake eyes. That was pretty close. So he is going to make it in right there. Now, unfortunately, because my alpha is in base contact with. Uh, with your stern guard, mm -hmm. my prehensile data spike with the haywire oh, is can't. not attacking the dreadnought, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so at the top of the initiative step, we have the data spike, which is a uh, initiative 10 attack, which does not hit. Oh. That's unfortunate, because that would have killed him before any attacks were coming back my way. And over here, because of how everything is in base contact, the alpha and the one wounded rust stalker have to attack the marine, so that marine's probably dead. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna have one Rust Stalker that's in base with the Dreadnought that's gonna use his Mind Scrambler grenade that has Haywire, and uh, hopefully take that Dreadnought, excuse me, that Dreadnought out. So we're gonna start with that one. So uh, hitting on a three, or four, sorry. So that does hit. So I just need a one to survive. So as long as I don't roll a one, uh, I did not roll a one. So Dreadnought's wrecked. <clears throat> so the Dreadnought has become a wreck. Which is good, because I don't need those attacks coming in there. Yeah. And uh, we'll just quickly get the rest of my attacks out of the way, and then he can attack back. Because he is still going to get his two attacks back. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just get that out of the way. That's a lot better than last time. Wow. <laughs> so four hits. This is wounding on uh, fours now, because they're no longer strength five. But it is AP two at this point. Yep. And I just forgot him. there's supposed to be some, two, uh, some flesh main ones in there again. I already forgot this one. <laughs> you can... Uh, I'll take one of them as a flesh pain. How does that sound? Instead of two. I was going to say you can re-roll it. But nah, it's okay. you've got a pretty re-roll, yeah. so you should. Yeah, yeah. so the flesh pain one on a two. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. So yeah. let's see his attacks back. Yep, so two attacks back. Hitting on fours. One. One hit. And on uh, threes. <laughs> threes. And nope. no wounds. So he actually has just resigned himself to his fate. Yep. And he has died. Thank you. All right. And they get to consolidate. I only roll 1d6 for this. <laughs> one inch. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So they'll just consolidate so they get out of the difficult terrain there. Just so they can maybe get a better charge on that. So at the end of Minotaur's turn two, uh, he wasn't able to get objective five or objective two, but he's very close. But he did get behind enemy lines with at least one unit. So he's not getting the d3 victory points, just the one but that still puts him up at this point, three to one. Going into Grey Knight's Admech, turn two, I draw up to three. Now, unfortunately I didn't get blood and guts because I destroyed his unit in my turn, or in his turn, sorry. So instead I got another objective one. So yeah, you can take a look where objective one is. So objective one is the one all the way over here. Now, I probably could try and take this with the deep strikers or with the, uh, the iron striders, depending on if they come on. So we'll see what happens. So, for my reserves, the Terminators are coming on, and these guys are also coming on. All right, more stuff for him to kill. So the Iron Striders do have Elm Flink and Acute Senses. So one, two, it's gonna be on that side. Three, four, that side. Five, six, I'm gonna get to choose, and I get a reroll. So, four, so that's over here. You know what, I think I'm actually happy with that. Yeah. I, I think, I think yeah, I think they're going to come on over here. All right, so on come the Dune Striders. So they're just going to roll up like so. I'm going to drop one. That's not good. Got that. And uh, it looked like a bit fell off. Yeah. What, uh, what fell off there? That's just a... Little a, thing here. Oh, that's not too hard to fix. Yeah. All right, so he just fell off. And they're just going to roll up like that. Now, one of the nice things about their format... Oh, by the way, I forgot to do this on turn one. Uh, they have to nominate a character, which is going to be your librarian. Okay. And basically, anytime I, I shoot at that unit, I can reroll to wounds. So, I don't know if it's actually going to come into play, but uh, that's something I forgot to declare. The other thing is, is that uh, units in the formation do not block line of sight to each other, so there's no cover save if I'm firing through one of the units in the formation. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I believe firmly in no guts, no glory, especially at this point in the game. 
So I'm going to try and deep strike right there. So uh, that, that's going to give me the objective. If it's a direct hit, it's going to put me in a great range for... Actually, you know what? Eh, more like right there. It's going to put me in a good range for, uh, for a cleansing flame to get it off. But uh, I, I'm banking a lot at this point. Four, nine inches back. Do you have your measuring tape handy? Oh yeah. So I think you're gonna end up right on top in the middle. So, so I'm still gonna get the uh, still gonna get the objective, but it means my cleansing flame isn't really gonna be doing anything, unfortunately. Yeah. But it is what it is. Over here, these rust stalkers are just gonna keep hunting down the uh, the uh, stern guard over here. So they're gonna uh, move through difficult terrain here. Three inches plus three for their dune strider, so they're gonna get six inches. So that's where the Rust Stalkers have ended up. They're in prime charge range. Uh, even with the difficult terrain right there, I'm getting a minimum of uh, a minimum of three inches going through there, I think. Minim Something like that. Yeah. Well, I get plus three inches, minus two for difficult. So I'm getting a minimum of, of three inches, yeah. Because yeah. it's going to be one inch plus whatever I roll. So chances are very good that they're in, unless they get shot up with a really good overwatch. But that is my movement phase. Moving into the psychic phase. So... With my uh, psychic phase over here, I got uh, four plus three, so I got seven total <coughs> to your six. Yep. So I'm desperate here, so I'm actually going to five dice sanctuary. No, I'm going to four dice sanctuary. I'm going to four dice sanctuary. I don't want to blow up my library just yet. <laughs> so I need one success here. I got two. All right. So they do now have uh, they now have four up in vulnerable saves. Yeah. Are you going to want to try and deny that? Uh, your other powers is Cleansing Flame and Force. Cleansing Flame, Force, and Hammer Hand for the Terminator Squad. Mm. And Banishment, but you're not a demon, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... Yeah, I doubt you're gonna... Actually, you can Cleansing Flame those guys. I have three dice left. And that's, a uh, one power. No, one. it's two. Oh, it's two? Yeah, it's Warp Charge two. Okay. I'm gonna throw, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna throw five dice at that. Okay. So let's see what happens. Nope. Nope, doesn't go off. Or, well, it goes off. So I have the better vulnerable save. Uh, so now I'm gonna use my last three dice, cleansing flame, needing two. No, it doesn't go off, but at least I didn't perils either. Yeah. So that is my psychic phase. They have a good and vulnerable save now. So we're gonna start with the shooting phase over here. These terminators and, uh, and librarian are gonna look at these scouts and basically try to remove them from the table here. So we'll start with the uh, psi cannon here. Hitting on threes, three hits. Wounding on twos. That's gonna be three wounds. Now you do have your camel cloaks, yeah. So that's going to give you a cover save of six. Of six, and you can go to ground for five. Yeah, but I can't move next on my turn. Uh, that's true. I really want that objective. Uh, gonna, gonna risk it. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. So three sixes. So, yep, three sixes. You one. saw one six, so two die. Now I have. Uh, let's see here. I have uh, six storm bolters. Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten twelve. 12. Okay. So six storm bolters going into the same squad here. <clears throat> That's a pretty solid hit there. And basically I just need to see the squad disappear at this point here. Make me feel good about some stuff. And that's gonna be, are they toughness four? Yeah, toughness yeah, four. Yeah, they're toughness four. So yeah, so that's four. So you can finish them off here. Oh, two die. Uh, no, three die. Uh, one, one. What's their cover save? Uh, uh, no, they have a four up armor. Oh, they do, don't they? They have four up armor. So the buggers lived, but they might run away. Uh, they, they, and chapter uh, tactics, so no, they're not gonna run away from shooting. Yeah. So that, that's, it's one of those things that you don't think about it when it's not there, but it's really frustrating. It's, it's also very, uh, unconventional chapter tactic. You don't see it or hear about it at all. <laughs> but so it, it means you're sticking around where you need to be yeah. without the detriment of Fearless. Yeah, exactly. Which, which is kind of nice, because Fearless can sometimes be a bad thing. Yeah. And they so. say, a lot of people say these chapter tactics are super under, like, I don't know, they suck, but yeah. like, I think it's I think Well, it's we'll, good. we'll I, chat about that in the post-game, uh, post yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so that's their shooting. So moving on to the Dragoons and the Battlestari. All right. <laughs> Over here, we're going to have to do it one at a time, but uh, the first one here is going to fire his uh, Phosphor Serpenta and his Radium Giselle at that uh, attack squad of Marines right there. So the Serpenta, uh, oh, and uh, before I fire any of those guys, I'm going to use their uh, Doctrine to oh. up the... Uh, What's his skill? Or no, you know what, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to up their weapon skill actually by one, because I got some Rust Dockers over there that want to 
that want to actually absolutely wreck that squad there and hit on threes. So, Get some wrench. so hitting on three. Nope. All right. And the Radium Giselle, two shots hitting on threes, both hit. And one is a precision shot. Oh, um, put down the Melta? Yeah, I'm going to put that on the Melta. And uh, <clears throat> now I need some more sixes here. I want to see some Rens. Yeah. And no sixes, so. uh, which also means that there's no double wound. So it's just going to be two saves. Okay. So. Do roll them separately because one's oh. on the Melta. Got it. So three up on Melta. Oh. And three up on regular guy. So. All right. So this regular guy dies. Guy dies. All right. So you can still kill the Melta next. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other, uh, the other Dragoon. So the Phosphor Serpenta hits. Wounds on a three, so no wound. And the Radium Giselle, one hit. And no, no wound because it's, uh, it's a sniper. So oh, wounds on yeah. a four. So nothing from the other one. And over here, this Balistari is just going to try and remove this last... Uh, this last scout right there with his Cognos Auto Cannon, twin linked. And twin linked. One hit. Not twos. That's a wound. And, and it's a battle. Uh, so six up. Yep, six up. Uh, no. So I have removed this one last guy. Now, as part of the Nemesis Strike formation, I do get to run these guys after they deep strike, which is going to be good because there's going to be a lot of plasma templates coming my way. Possible Melta. And possible Melta. <laughs> so it's going to be four inches. You know, it's just enough to sort of spread them out a bit. Just like so. Just to make sure that those templates aren't quite as effective. So, so that is my shooting phase. So we're about to go into the assault phase. Nice. So over here, gonna declare an assault against your stern guard here. Would you like to overwatch? Yes. Why not? <laughs> so right, you're so gonna get- uh, 10 shots. 10 shots. Gonna do the AP4 shots again, or? Yeah. Need one more? Yeah, just one more, please. There you go. <clears throat> All right, 10 shots, hitting on sixes. Oh, come on. Wow. Come on. All right, so on. Oh, uh, only four of those, one of those is a five. Oh, you're right, yep. sorry. I'm mistake. Yep. And on fours, two. So two wounds, okay. So I got some uh, invul okay. saves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and, oh, I don't know what I want to, got a look answer one of those actually, okay. which, yeah, you, you a look answer. So the one that's on the alpha, so I have a uh, invulnerable save, six up invulnerable, hey, oh. which I make. All right. And on the other guy, six up invulnerable, no, with a feel no pain, no. So unfortunately the look answer does go to the wounded fellow right here, so it does take him out, but I'm still very combat capable. No double ones. Oh. There's a there's that 12. <laughs> so they're just gonna go piling in and uh, hopefully they're gonna just give you a really bad day because they're gonna be hitting on threes now, which is which is kind of a big deal for me. Yeah. So at the start of this assault, uh, hmm, do I wanna issue a challenge? I'm gonna issue a challenge. I accept. You're gonna accept. All right. So at initiative 10, the data spike is gonna try and stab him in the head. <laughs> So it's gonna hit on a three, so that hits. Okay. Strength as user, so strength five, so wounding on a three. Oh, no wound. So now everything is at initiative. So we'll just get my stuff out of the way first, just cause it's nice and quick. So my alpha has five attacks on the charge. Mm -hmm. And I gotta do one of these separately cause one is the cord claw. So the cord claw, this one is the, uh, flesh, the flesh bane. Yeah. So cord claw hits, wounds, and it's not a rend, unfortunately. Yeah, so armor so, save. Armor save. No. Hey! Challenge, challenge. He cord clawed you. Now you're still gonna get your attacks back. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I feel good about myself right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of good right now. And my other guy has four attacks. One of which is the cord claw. So we'll do the cord claw separate. Yep. Which rolls off the table there. Which does not hit. And the three regular attacks. Two hits, one wound, however, that one wound is a rend. So that's just gonna be another dead marine right there. Yep. So combat is looking okay for me at the moment. Um, so your uh, your sergeant, he's got three attacks back? Uh, no, only two. He doesn't have the chainsaw, he's modeled like that, so he looks Oh, cool. okay. So yeah, I should have mentioned that. So you're gonna do your regular squad first, I guess? Um, yeah, you know what, let's do the challenge actually yeah, first. Yeah, do the challenge first. So, hitting on force. So two hits. On fours again, or? 
Uh, actually, so one threes, right? Yeah, three. Yeah. So one wound still. <clears throat> All right, so four up. I make it. All right. And now you have uh, eight attacks on the other guy. On fours. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And threes. Yep. Okay. So let's see some four up saves here. All right, now some Philo pains. Keep dropping dice. <laughs> And unfortunately, you did take him down. So that does become a draw combat, actually, oh, once wow. again. But uh, I don't know, I've done some damage. I mean, the fact that just two guys did that to you, right? Yeah, they're pretty scary. So I, I'm do, I do like these guys if they hadn't gotten so shot up. Mm -hmm. But again, post game stuff. But that is the end <coughs> of my uh, assault phase. So we're moving into Minotaurs, turn three. So at the end of my turn, I was able to get Secure Objective 1 twice. So, ironically, that actually ties the game at this point, 3-3. Three to three. Uh, But I don't think that's going to be uh, for very long as we go into his turn 3. So at the start of his turn, he's just going to draw another objective, Domination. So he needs to control every objective marker on the table. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to be a tough one. I don't think you actually have enough models to do that. Well, maybe, because maybe. I, I can get, uh, I have that, I can get that pretty easily, yeah. I have this one, I just need to get that from you. You need this one, one, you need this one, and you need that one. Mm -hmm. I yeah, don't, I don't one. think you have enough models to do it. No, I don't. You don't have enough. But, uh, you know what, you're still in a pretty good position, because you got a lot of mean firepower coming at me still. Yeah. So, onto reserves, and it's coming on, which is not what I needed to see. <laughs> But uh, you know what? At this point, we're just we're just gonna see how long I can last. I think <laughs> that that's the name last of this game mode? now. I think I think we've just hit last stand mode. Yeah. All right. So it's just gonna come on over there. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Uh, let's see, 18 inch range. Yeah, I could still. I'm just gonna move it up a bit more, so I'm in range of that. Yep. Yeah. No, that makes sense. All right. So that's where Cestus Assault Ram went. Yeah. All right. So he's just gonna pivot over here, so he doesn't have to snap fire anything. Uh, just so he can get a better line of sight. Yeah. So he's going to pull his librarian out of the centurions here. So difficult terrain, six inches. So I'm going to put him within three over here. Yeah, that makes sense. Hold yeah. that objective. And the centurions are probably just going to start marching over. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, would you call that difficult? Yeah. Probably, yeah. So let's roll that. So oh. one inch. That's not good. At least Everything's gonna... coming up millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so there they are. They've just shuffled over one inch there. And that's your movement over on this side. Now over here, you have your uh, Razorback and your uh, your Marines. Yeah. What would you like to do with them? Um, actually, blades. So he's going to try and move the Razorback up onto this hill here to get objective two. All right. Which he does not immobilize himself. So he's just going to go uh, cruising speed. Yeah. Yeah, just to get up there. Yeah, just to snapshots off. Yeah, so he's going to be snap firing, but you know what? He holds that objective, and that's one of the ones he's been trying to take, yeah. so that's good for him. The Marines are just going to move up to uh, go address the issue of the Paladins, which I don't think is going to be a huge issue, because you do have three... Oh, Paladins. Oh, sorry, no, not Paladins. Terminators. Okay. Terminators. <laughs> I'm not made of points. <laughs> they're just Terminators. <laughs> I was scared for a second. No, no. No, they're, they're just they're just Terminators. I'm kind of wishing they were Paladins right now, because yeah. then they'd survive that plasma a lot better, but... Oh, yeah. It is what it is. So, that is the movement phase. So we're going to go into the psychic phase. Oh, sorry. So he rolled a five. I know the roll was kind of off camera there, but he did in fact roll a five. Sorry. So he's got his uh, his seven, seven charges to my eight charges. Yeah. So he's just going to throw a bunch of dice at Telekinetic Dome again. So five dice and three. And three. I might as well throw all eight of my dice at it. Four so, eight. Yeah. So needing a bunch of sixes here. <laughs> no oh. telekinetic dome for you. So no invulnerable save there. You're going to have to rely on good old-fashioned armor and cover saves. Oh, no no cover for me. <laughs> <laughs> so his uh, Cestus Assault Ram with its melt -a blaster thing, just going to put it right on top of my library in there. And uh, it's still getting a good chunk of them, even though I tried to spread out a little bit. And, oh no. Okay, the, you know what, that's only four. four inches. Does it have strafing run? Uh, no. No? Oh, okay. No, so four, four inches, no, a little bit more this way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like that? Like so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's only going to hit two, thankfully. Yeah. 
But uh, still, that's that's possibly two dead Terminators. Wounding on twos. That's two wounds. Now, I got Saint Sanctuary off, so I have four up in vulnerable saves right now. Yep. One dies. So the closest one, right there, it's gone. Wow, yeah, you spread these guys out. So we have some one-shot missiles here. Now, because it's the small blast template, uh, I did spread out enough that it's not going to be as devastating here. Yeah, it can only hit one. <clears throat> so for once, I did something tactically right. That's <laughs> excellent. All right, All right, so... So how many times do you roll this, then? Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, four times, it's twin linked. Four times twin linked? Oh, okay. So, first one. That's... I'm going to re-roll that one, because it's going to go over here. Yeah, yeah. So, first one is still going that way, uh, three inches. So I think that's still gonna miss. Yeah, yeah that's that's missed. All right, second one. Direct, Direct hit. it. So it's one. Third one. That's gone. Gonna so re roll that one, yeah. That's gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that's gone. that's. Yeah. Well, you know, what? you might still hit him. Yeah. So that was uh, nine was like minus this four, way. so five. So. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You're still hitting one. So there you go. So that's two, and last one. Is two inches. That's this one. Way. Oh, it's gonna be one. Oh no, maybe two. 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 So, so you four. got four total. Okay, that's not too bad. All right. So strength. So strength six. What's the AP? Uh, four. Okay. So, so it's gonna be wounds. three wounds, and I will make three saves. All right. Maybe on the Strider. So over here, no. he's just deciding what to do with his melt gun here. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot at the Great Knights. He's gonna shoot at the Great Knights. All right. So one shot of the Grey Knights. Hang on threes. That's definitely a hit. On Wounding on two. That's definitely a wound. Four up. That's definitely a save. Nice. All right. Maybe things are finally starting to turn my way. So, and how much do you have in rapid fire? Uh, Looks like all. everything? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be 12 shots at the Terminators there. Um, eight. Yeah, I don't know why I said 12. <laughs> here I am shooting myself in the foot here. Rapid so fire. Eight shots hitting on threes. That's a good solid hit. Wow. Wounding on fours. Uh, okay, that's not terrible. That's over half. So, a bunch of two up. Oh, so, so I still lose one. Mm -hmm. So, bam, the guy with the halberd goes away. Two, He's gonna snap fire his heavy bolts from the Razorback into the Terminators. No hits. Is so, it, it's twin link though, yeah, isn't it? Twin link. So, no. Still no hits, okay. And uh, what about your uh, predator there? Yeah, he's gonna shoot at those gray knights. So yeah, I, I same figured deal, as much. Small blast. Yeah. So once again, he's just gonna center it on the librarian. First one. Oh. That that's, is. That's twelve that way. So it's uh, no, well, 12, eight inches. Eight. So that's not gonna hit anything. Nope. <laughs> Second one. Right. That's a direct hit. So there's one. And then this one is also a direct hit. So that's gonna be two hits. So anything but ones. So twos. Oh. That's one snake eye there. Now I'm gonna look out, sir. This. Because that is my librarian. Yeah. And, uh, well, well you know, he's, he's got multiple wounds. Yeah. He's got multiple wounds. Nuts to that. Four up save. No. So he's going to take a wound. So he's down to one wound. Mm -hmm. But he's still kicking. Okay. So I actually weathered that storm a lot better than I thought I was going to. And, uh, so, and you got a bunch of heavy bolters, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of heavy bolters, not snap firing. Yeah, I can actually see. Uh, this one can't because the wall here is being. Okay. Yet, so, so you got th you got three heavy bolter shots. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Three hits, wounding on threes. Just got. Yeah, that one's got. So that's gonna be three wounds. And, oh, oh. that was, those were dropped. <laughs> they were saved, but they were dropped. Oh, I'm gonna look answer that over to the hammer, yep. hopefully. We're on to. Yeah, well, it's gotta be the closest, and the hammer's the closest. So, the I. Would be. Uh, Is there about equal distance? You know what, I, I e even, you even is the halberd, uh, odd is the hammer. Okay. Even. Okay, so I'll lose the halberd then. All right. So, I weathered that a lot better than I thought I would. So, that's the end of your shooting? Almost. I still Almost. got the uh, assault cannon. It's it's just in range, so you're going to get a cover. Uh, yeah, you're um, going to get a cover. Line stage. of sight's kind of questionable, though. Yeah? Well, what do you think, looking through the viewfinder there? Uh, Yeah, actually, you're right, looking at your camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just checking on the line of sight. He is just down. So for the assault over here, there's no more guys that I can issue a challenge to, so I'm just gonna stab something in the head with my prehensile data spike. Mm -hmm. So hitting on you know, I gotta double check to see if the doctrine imperatives are still active in this. Because I think be, it's it should be a turn. I think it's to the end of my next turn, but I'm gonna double check that. Okay. Excuse me. 
So the imperative does still keep going until the beginning of my next turn. So I'm going to be hitting on a three. And once again, it fails to do anything. So I'm going to get my four attacks against uh, against your guys. All hitting on threes. It's going to be three hits. Wounding on fours. That's going to be two wounds. And now this, because this is turn two, they're AP two. Yeah. So that's going to be two dead Marines. Oh. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> So one and two, but they get to yep. strike back. They're still going to get to hit back. So you got six attacks coming uh, coming my way. So hitting on fours. Fours. Ooh, that's not good at all. Uh, cocked? No, that's, that's yours. Okay. Yeah, that's yours. All right, and threes. So that's going to be one so far and that's two. Because that is a six. There we go. So four up armor save. And a feel no pain. Which oh. I also make. So the alpha oh, continues to just uh, roll through things here. So um, now I did win combat this time. Yeah. By two. Yeah. So can you run away or you got your chapter tactics again? Um, no, I'm going to run away. Okay. Like, yeah, it's only from shooting. Okay, only from shooting. Yeah, so, so minus two to this, you're I'm good. In. All right. But you know what? That's, that's not terrible for me. Yeah. Because now I can try and get the victory point on my turn. Yeah. So there we go. This one Rust Stalker alpha. Is just mulching through your guys at this point. Yeah. Take so, these away. All right, and there we go. So that is the end of uh, Minotaur's turn three. So at the end of his turn, he was able to get objective five with his librarian, and he was able to get objective two with his uh, Razorback. Mm -hmm. So that does put him up to five points to my three at this point. So it's actually still a close game objective point wise. Yeah. But uh, for me, I'm I'm fighting to just hold on at this point. So let's see what happens going into turn three. For the Grey Knights and Admech. And just before we forget, there was a morale test that needs to be taken here. On a 10. Okay. <laughs> That's so that very six. close. <laughs> I saw that 6 too, and I was really worried there. So they're sticking around at the very least. All right. So turn three for me. So at the start of my turn three, I draw up to three objectives. Scour the skies. Dang, he has a flyer. So, so I can get that one. And Witch Hunter, you have a librarian, so I can get that one too. All right, so the objectives are really going to make me work for this one. At the start of my turn, I'm also going to declare a Doctrine in, uh, Imperative. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to increase... You know, I'm going to increase my Ballistic Skill by 3. And my and lower my Weapon Skill by 2. So it means my Rust Stalker is still only hitting on 4s, because your Weapon Skill, 4, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so you're not over double, you're just double. So I'm still hitting on 4s, but it means all my stuff is going to be hitting on 2s with rerolls. Uh, for my admech stuff. So that might be able to help me snipe off your uh, your librarian here, which would be a warlord and witch hunter for me. Yep. So that's going to be a big deal for me. So going into Grey Knights and admech movement, turn three. Over here, this uh, Sidonian Dragoon is just going to move up like so. And he's going to move over like this. And this fellow is just going to move over like this, just so they all have line of sight on that librarian over there. Cause I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put whatever I can into that guy and hope for the best. Over here, these guys are gonna be moving through difficult terrain. And are, are they? Yeah, they're gonna move uh, just down the hill through difficult terrain, five inches. And uh, that's more or less just to, to put them in an area where they might be able to play with some guys. Just to make things difficult for those marines. And, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the movement phase. Going into the psychic phase. So at the start of the psychic phase, got three warp charges plus three for my librarian and terminators. So you're sitting at five, I am sitting at six. I'm gonna throw four dice at sanctuary. And I'm gonna get it with two. Would you like to try to deny? Yeah, I'm gonna try with all. Okay. Nope. No deny. Okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to throw two dice at hammer hand. Okay. Which I'm going to get with one. Pain suffering. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be... That unit's going to have some fun time in combat, that's for sure. <laughs> over here, we're going to start with the formation over here. They're, um, I'm going to do it one by one, but the intention is probably to try and take out that librarian. Now, they're ballistic skill seven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they're hitting on twos, re-rolling and hitting on fives on the reroll. 
And uh, because of their formation, they have the ident confirmed, which means that they're rerolling wounds against your librarian. And the two bad guys here, well, basically none of them are gonna have uh, get any modify or any negatives to cover save, or you're not gonna get a cover save from me firing through my own units okay, because of their formation. You're still gonna get a cover save because you're in a ruin, mm -hmm. but and I'm probably gonna go to ground. You might go to ground with this? I think I will. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> Coward. Coward. So we're going to start with the uh, the Phosphor Serpenta, which is hit. going to hit. This is uh, strength five. No wound. Reroll. Oh, yeah. Reroll. So on a five. No. Oh. All right. So now the Radium Giselle. Uh, that's going to be one hit, one reroll oh. on five. Ooh. Two hits. Now I'm looking for sixes here, because yeah. sixes are rending and they're two wounds each. Which is why I went to ground. <laughs> no sixes, but there are going to be two wounds here. So three up. Okay. Don't whiff, don't whiff. Oh, oh one. So he's down to one wound. Yeah. Now I'm going to do this all over again with the back guy. Phosphor Serpenta, that's going to hit. Mm -hmm. No wounds. No. no, that's the wound. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> Still no wound, okay. That one die just keeps going to one. Yep. The Radium Giselle, that's gonna be two hits. Mm -hmm. Precision fire, watch out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the wounds. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be three wounds. So oh. now two of them are at AP two. Oh. Okay. Yeah, AP two. So I mean, three up cover anyway. So it's a bunch of three up saves? Yeah. So you're making three of these. Oh, three, that's right. Cause yeah, because of the Radium Giselle. And yes! Uh, <laughs> oh, I take the little victories where I can. So that's actually a big one for me, though, because that's Warlord and Witch Hunter right there. Yeah, up to five points. We're at five, five right now. So that that's actually kind of cool for me. And uh, you know what? I've taken these guys a couple times. I love them. Mm -hmm. I love these guys. I want to add more to them because I think because they can go in squadrons of up to six. Really? Yeah. So I want more of them. But so that was a very highly effective shooting from those two guys there. And now I freed up uh, the Cognos Auto Cannon. So this last Ballastari here is actually just going to put his two shots into the uh, front armor of the Razorback here. So this is going to be uh, hitting on twos, rerolling because of the Ballistic Skill 7. Yep. So one hit, and I need a four to glance, five to pen. Oh, That's okay. going to be a penetrating hit right there. And it is going to be a, a six. Mobilize. So it's a mobilize. I was actually kind of hoping for weapon destroyed there. Oh. <laughs> but uh, it, it's a mo well, because now it's just sitting on that objective, right? Yeah. And it can still fire at me. But, you know, that's a hull point off it. So that's something at the very least. Yeah. All right. And then these uh, Terminators here, they're going to elect to not fire. Oh, dude. Because I'm going to get into combat, hopefully. And uh, I don't know, maybe I can... I shouldn't have hammer-handed. Why not? Well, because I was hoping it'd actually be stuck in combat, so you can throw plasma templates at them. Oh, you're right. But uh, you know what? I've already hammer handed, so that's that's that. So we're just going to jump right to the assault phase here, and uh, can I get one more d6? Yeah, absolutely. So they're just going to assault in. Would you like to overwatch? Yep. All right. So you got uh, so one Melta. Yep. Let's do that first. The Melta. Nope. Misses. And two. You four. should have eight. Yeah. One more. Thank you. So on threes. On oh, sixes, six actually. Point. So that's two hits so far. Wounds on a four. No. Nope. Nothing. Okay. So you got like a four inch charge. So. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's not your day today. <laughs> you know, I got nothing. I got nothing for that one. The, these dice are just, they're, they're out to get me today, I think. I've had some nice ones, but there's been a lot of bad ones as well. That's, so. <clears throat> that's not fair. They're stuck out in the open. They're probably going to get shot to pieces on on their turn, but uh, you know what? At least I still have my uh, my little Rustocker Princeps. That's true. That's uh, that's going to cause some problems. So let's go see what he's doing. Oh. So he's actually going to charge in because uh, <clears throat> Thomas was actually kind enough to remind me that he could. So he's going to try and charge in. So he's got Dune Strider. So he adds plus three to this. So that's going to be seven yeah. minus two for difficult terrain plus three. So eight inches. He's in. So he's just going to start kicking at the back of that uh, that razor back there. Maybe take him out. Who knows? And because you're immobilized, it is automatically hitting too. Yeah. yeah. Now over to here at the start of combat, I do have the uh, pre head cell data spike. So on a four. Stab him in the eye. Oh, that's one three times in a row. Yeah. What what's going on here? That data spike just doesn't want to do anything. You want my dice? 
I don't know. Your, your dice don't seem to like me either. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just get his attacks out of the way now. He's got four attacks. One of them is the Cord Claw, which does not hit. And the other one's on fours. One hit. Needing a four here. Oh, no. All right. Attack's back. And he's attacks back. So is he down to one wound or no? No, he's still full. Okay. He's so still full. I need so both of these. So. Two attacks. Ooh. Both hit. And threes. Both wound. So four up. Dice like you. Four up armor save. Yeah, Made them both. So that combat continues. So that means no blood and guts for me this turn. Mm -hmm. Which is unfortunate because that would have been a nice another objective to get. So got that attack. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I could get lucky and take this guy out over here. You just need two, two fives. Yep, two fives and I have it. So let's see what happens. Hey! Oh. So I've taken out the Razorback to give me blood and guts. What do you know? Apparently Perseverance will eventually pay off. <laughs> so that is the end of the Admech Grey Knights, turn three. I was hoping to get into combat with that uh, squad there, but uh, <clears throat> it was not meant to be. And there's a lot of firepower that's going to be coming back at me. So let's go check out our objectives and then we'll move on to uh, Minotaurs, turn four. So, I was able to get Witch Hunter, which is uh, one victory point right there, and, and and a Warlord. I was also able to get uh, Blood and Guts as well. Now, just the level one version of it, so it's not D3. But once you factor in the Warlord, that actually puts me at six victory points to your five. five. So I'm actually in the lead by one at the moment. <clears throat> so if I can survive, there might actually be a chance I can pull this one out. So let's see what happens going into Minotaurs, turn four. So at the start of his turn four, he's going to drop to three objectives again. So he's got secure objective four and Kingslayer. So he needs to go after my uh, librarian at this point and uh, maybe get some victory points off that one. Yeah. So let's see what happens. So the Cestus uh, is going to drop down into hover mode just to get a better shot. Um, now it does mean if he fails to take out my Terminators, guess who's getting charged? Oh yeah. But uh, you know what? I think the odds are good. You'll probably be able to take him out. Maybe. But we'll see what happens. And the Centurions, they're just going to plod forward a little bit, get into a better uh, range of fire. Because I think you've been out of range for, uh, for a turn or two. Yeah. So this should put you in at that point. And the Marines are just going to back off a little bit. Just to... Uh, I don't know what they're planning on doing. Just get better line of fire, maybe. Yeah. Or something. Or maybe just make sure that the large blasts don't scatter onto them. Yeah. That's yeah. probably... Yeah, that, that's, that's, probably that's probably a good thing, yeah. And the Demos Predator is just going to stay still. Just going to keep lobbing his, plas his plasma shots out. I think Max I can get is two. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like two, but still getting three shots. And so, first shot? Yep. Uh, it's going to go that way. Um, um, it's why can't be, I uh, count? Five, five inches. Hit one. Yeah, so it's actually going to land on one of my Dragoons. That's not too bad. He's got a five up cover save. Yeah. So, it's not terrible. And second one? Yep. <clears throat> That's gonna scatter oh. off four inches. And, uh, so hey, look, that Dragoon's gonna get hit again. <laughs> All right, and third you know, one. I'd rather you hit the Dragoon, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, oh so there's gonna be two on the on the Terminators, okay. Two's. So on the Terminators, on twos, two wounds, and four up. up. Yeah, because I got Sanctuary off, four up saves. I made them both, nice. okay. And two on the Dragoon. All right. So side armor? Uh, 11, I assume. 11, I believe. I'm going to double check that. So it's 11s all round. Uh, and I will have my five up cover save mm -hmm. from this one. So go ahead and roll. So needing a four. So it's one, one pen. pen. And it goes through. So. so AP2. So plus one to this. Five, six. It is immobilized. Is it open topped? Oh, it's blown up. Because <laughs> it is open top. That's right. So roll a d6. How many inches? <laughs> three. three inches. So that should get my guy. Well, it's this one right here. That oh, yeah, that's right, actually. Because right. it's a separate unit. So So you're safe here. Yeah. But just out. It is going to hit the back, but it's uh, strength four against uh, rear armor 11, so it's not going to yeah. do anything. But he did blow it up because it is open top. So that Dragoon goes down. He's going to try with the heavy bolter now. Three shots. I can see him. Three hits. Needing threes to wound. Three wounds. This is where I'm going to roll a bunch of ones. No, 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 no. And, okay. They all make it, so all the Terminators are still alive. So the Cestus is going to drop his large uh, Melta Blast right on my Librarian's head again. And? And it's going to scatter. Ooh, Ooh that's going to be a five-inch scatter. 
that's not good. So I think it's still gonna, oh, sorry, I should really, yeah. No, nope. it's gonna hit nothing. So through some weird obscene luck, I'm still alive. Now there's still more shots coming at me. Yes. So let's see what happens. Okay, now he's gonna put in his grab shots from the Centurions into the Terminators. Yep. I think he really wants them dead. <laughs> so on threes. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, my rolling's just been fantastic. I don't know Yeah, why. has it ever been? Like my dice, your dice. Yeah, it doesn't like matter whose dice, you're, you're, you're rolling great. All right, so, so on twos. Yep, and re-rolling. Because I've grab amps. Glad you re-roll. <laughs> oh. So this many. All right, all right, let's see this here. I gotta do these one at a time because the librarian is next. Yep. So four up in vulnerable saves. Uh oh. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so now we're on to the librarian. He's gonna uh, look out, sir. Everything. Yeah, I got a Kingslayer thing. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta try and save him. So he's still gonna take one. Now that's very important because he only has one wound left. Yeah. So let's just get the other guys out of the way first. So. so. Uh. Oh no. You know what? It's not gonna matter. Because that's a failed wound on the librarian as well, then. Because mm -hmm. the little can only do so much. Which means he has completely removed my squad of Terminators here with the librarian. So that is Kingslayer right there. So why don't you just go ahead and roll your D3 right now? I know it's technically no. at the end of the phase or end of the turn, but. And it's one. It's just going to be one. So it means he's now tied. Nope, now he's up to one because he also has Warlord. But uh, that was still a very effective round of shooting. Grav Centurions are just mean. You don't want friends. That's all it is. <laughs> and a melt and crack shot into, or crack grenade into the Dragoon there. So melt it first <laughs> on threes. Hits. And uh... 2d6. That's definitely uh, in. So I have a five up cover save. Nope. So that's definitely in. So what happens to him? So. This is plus three because it's open top. Oh. So he is stunned. just stunned. So that's... Worst things could happen. Yeah. He'll just snap fire at you. And next, uh, crack grenade. So yep. threes. So that's a hit, needing a six, nothing. Nope. All right, so he's down to one hull point left uh, and he's snap firing on, on my turn. Yeah. But that's uh, the end of the shooting over here, moving into the assault phase. So he's going to assault in, so I do have an overwatch. Mm -hmm. Gonna fire the Radium Giselle and hope for some sixes. There's one hit, that's also a precision shot, so I'm gonna put it on your uh, melted gun. Okay. And uh, I want another six here. Oh, that's going to be two wounds and rending. And rending, so two guys just go down. So your melted guy is dead, and uh, I honestly don't know if I get to precision shot that other one as well. Um, you know, I'm going to look that up later. For the sake of right now, I'm going to say probably not. It'll just be the next closest guy gets the, the wound applied to him. Yeah, and either um, way, I don't think it would matter just because, like... Well, do you have a sergeant else? in there? Well, yeah, but he doesn't really do anything. He's just, he's just a character. Leadership? No, no, he, he's oh. just, yeah, just leadership eight. Oh, look, they're all the Marine sergeants are just okay. kind of poop. Well, then, yeah, I'll take out the, the melted gun and the front guy. Yeah. That was uh, that was a fun roll for me. Yeah. Not expecting that. And now you're looking at it to be about a six-inch charge. All right. So let's see what you roll here. And you're definitely in. That That is for sure. All right. So in they go. So over here, he's going to go first. He's going to uh, lob three crack grenades yep. into the dragoon here. On so, uh, yeah. Or no. Uh, three no, fours, because I'm about to yeah. go four. So two have hit. So you need fives. No, yeah, fives. One. One. Okay. So what happens to it? Oh yeah, that's right. And, and uh, you know what? It actually doesn't matter because he's dead. He's wrecked. Yes, he he's only one. You brought him down to one hull point. You oh. stunned him. Oh, you're right. Yeah. 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 So he's dead. So it doesn't matter. He doesn't even get to attack back. Okay. He he's just dead. So consolidate. So they get to consolidate. Five inches. So I'm just gonna. Gives them a whole bunch of options. I'm gonna go over here just in case. Yeah. There you go. All right. And over to here, this one last Zern guard, just bravely defending himself against an absolutely psychotic Rust Stalker here. <laughs> I, I'm convinced he's he's just psychotic at this point. He's insane. So we're gonna start off with the uh, the data spike here. <laughs> hey, the oh. data spike hit! <laughs> All right. So he's this AP is a uh, yeah. This is gonna be AP two. Uh, no, this one. No, the cord claw is flush. Oh, okay, uh, you know, let me do double check the uh, the AP on the data spike because I don't think it's AP two actually. Oh, okay. Unless that's a transonic rule. Either way, it is going to wound. I'm just going to get back on the AP there. Yeah. So he's going to get an armor save from it. So three up, which he makes. All right. All right. Now let's just get his four attacks out of the way. Hitting on fours. Oh. I'll just reroll that. Okay. So only one hit. Wounding on fours. Oh. Moving on. <laughs> so your two attacks back. 
on threes, is it this uh, one? Fours. Fours? Okay. Yeah, because you're still only weapon skill four. If you're weapon That's skill right. five, it'd be on threes. Okay. No, because I thought no, sorry. dropped. No, okay. sorry, threes. Yeah, threes. Yeah. Threes. I okay. don't know why I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm talking out of places I shouldn't be talking <laughs> about it. That's what's going on here. Alright, so, and uh, threes to wound. Threes to wound. So one, one wound, four up armor. Oh. Which I make. So this fight continues. You know, this is the part I'm most invested in in this game. Are we going to uh, transfer into who would win? <laughs> <laughs> one one uh, Sternguard versus a, uh, a Rustalker uh, Alpha. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I was supposed to have won this combat a couple rounds ago, yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the end of this round, or this assault phase. So things are not looking good for me. That's for sure. I have two models on the board left at this point. So we're going to go into my turn four, and I have a good feeling we're probably going to call it at the end of turn four, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, who knows. So uh, let's check out and see if you got any objectives, and then we'll move on. Oh, that's right, yeah. So during this turn, he was able to get Kingslayer, and he got objective number four. So that did give him two more objectives plus Warlord. So that's putting him up to, let's see, three, six, seven, eight. You're at eight points. Yep. Yeah, you're at eight points right now. To my... Five, I think? No, to my six. six. Yeah. So I'm behind by two. Odds are not good. We'll play with this last turn and then we'll figure out if it's worth going on to turn five. Okay. So here we are, Admech Grey Knight, turn five. So my turn, I draw back up to three. So secure objective five. And behind enemy lines. Oh. Ooh. You know, actually I'll say it later. Yeah. So I'm not sure I'm going to be getting those ones. So at the start of my turn, I'm also going to declare a uh, Doctor Imperative. I'm going to raise my weapon skill by uh, by two, and my ballistic skill is going to lower by one. So it means this guy's only going to be hitting on threes, but he is twin linked, so I'm not too concerned about that. But it might mean I might finally take out that last turn guard. It's become personal for me because <laughs> I'm going to be hitting on threes now. So this uh, this Ballastar is going to use difficult terrain. It's going to just walk down four inches, which puts him to about. We'll just put him like that, just to make it easy. And uh, that's my movement phase. So I'm going to immediately enter into the shooting phase. I'm going to shoot your Marines right there <laughs> with the Cognus Auto Cannon. So it is twin linked. So that's going to be two hits. And it's going to be two wounds. There you go, armor. Oh, okay, you live. So that is the end of my shooting phase. I'm going to immediately move into my assault phase. I'm going to assault in. So if you'd like to snap or uh, snap fire your crack grenade. Um, yeah, that's right. It's the only thing I can hurt. Yeah, because so. your melt is gone. That's so three. Three, so it does not go in. Yeah. So, so I respond with a 10-inch charge because of Dune Strider. Yep. So it gets in. Got a Hammer of Wrath here, <coughs> which wounds. Oh, three up armor. Three up armor. Nope. Hammer of Wrath takes one guy out. And he's going to have... Three attacks on the charge, but uh, you're gonna get to go first. So you get your attacks first, so you got what, two attacks? Yep, so on fours. So two crack grenades, one goes in, and a pen. Nope. Nothing. Not even close. So I get three attacks back on the charge. So, and this is, oh, this is gonna be hitting on threes because his weapon skills up. Yep. So that's two hits. Wounding on threes because he's strength five. Ooh. One wound. Is it enough? Nope. nope. But you know what? I don't mind this so far because he still lost combat. He still lost combat. I hope you actually stay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So uh, might as well just roll your morale now, and then we'll move on okay. to the other one, the main event, if you will. So, yeah, you're fine. fine. All right. So now we're going to move on to the main event. I don't know about anyone watching this, but this is the only part of the game I care about at this point. So on a three, he's going to hit with the data spike. Hey, look at that. He hits. Wounds. He wounds. Oh. oh, he's still alive. So he got four attacks again? So, yeah, four attacks, one of which is with the Cord Claw Dissonance attack. The Cord Claw hits. Oh, and that was also Flesh Bane. Transonic. It's dead. dead. But he gets to attack back. I don't know. Oh. I don't think that's in the rules. I think <laughs> I killed him. I think that's what happened there. Yeah, I get your two attacks back. <laughs> oh, that's uh, no, So, that's uh, one hit. And I don't know. Oh, he got him. That's a wound. Which I saved! This Rust Stalker, he, he is my MVP. You, you can go away, Stern Guard. <laughs> you can go. I need to feel good about this right now. This one Rust Stalker is my MVP. I thought he was going to be dead after turn one with what you did to him, but so far he's still alive, which is amazing. But that is the end of my turn four. I secured no objectives and no victory points were given to me on this one, but I feel good about myself. 
So it's a win for me. So he was going to discard Domination at the end of his turn, so we're just going to give it to him. All right. Just discard it. And drop three objectives. No prisoners, so... Okay. Uh, number four, which I have. Okay. And Big, big Game, game Hunter. Hunter which so. you can get, yeah. possibly. So you have a lot of stuff. Yeah, like you're, you're very much in the lead. You're going to get this by objectives easily. But uh, we want to see just uh, how long I can stick in at this point. Just, right. just to make it interesting. So let's go on to Minotaurs, turn four. So the Cestus is going to pop back into uh, Zoom. I can go 36, right? Uh, you can go up to 36 and you get a 90 degree angle, I believe, that you can actually turn on. Yeah, so I'm going to go turn like yep. so. And then go 36. I should bring you to about here. But I'm still on range because it's an 18 inch shot. Yeah, <laughs> my Rust Stalker lives yet again. <laughs> uh, what about your Centurions here? Centurions? Um, just going to turn them around and. Uh, uh, just, no, I'm just going to head this way. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. All right. And your uh, your demos predator there one probably yeah. doesn't have range on anything. Plus he's holding the objective. Plus he's holding the objective, which you want. Yeah. So uh, let's go into the shooting phase. So you have a pair of uh, storm bolters yeah. over here. So that can fire into the rust docker. <coughs> I, I think you should you should try. It. I say bring it. All right, all right, all right. I say bring it. Come on. <coughs> Threes. Oh. So that's two hits. Threes. Two wounds. Four ups. Oh, oh. feel no pain. <laughs> oh, he's down a wound. He is down to one wound. <laughs> one wound. What Are sort you of. Gonna name him after this if he survives? I, I might. I've already been tempted to convert one of these guys into a General Grievous type character. That would be awesome. He might be General Grievous. Because <laughs> I want to run him in the Admac campaign. So he's down to one wound, but he's alive. All right. So is that all your shooting? Um, yeah. That's all the shooting. Let's, let's just take a shot from over here. Like, just look at that devastation. The Minotaurs came in like a wrecking ball. They just, they just rolled right over me. Or I rolled over, I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad happened, that's for sure. That was ours. But uh, we're gonna go into the assault phase at this point. Now the only thing in combat over here is the, uh, the Ballastari and the two Marines. So uh, get your crack grenades off. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> And so hitting on fours. Oh, did you? No, you increased your weapon skill. Yeah, by two. So their weapon skill six. So, so they're not W. I need a six. You need a six. I need a six six. Oh, no. So I got two attacks back. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Oh yeah. Wounding on two or threes. Two wounds. Come on. Oh, okay. Combat continues over here. So that's the end of his turn. You got objective four. Yeah. So that puts you up to another one. Uh, did you get anything else? Nope. Nope. So, you know, he's got objective four. He's got something objectives. He's, he's definitely winning. So we're going to go into turn, uh, my turn five right here. Okay. And uh, it's going to be a very quick one. Very, very quick one. You can haywire the drop pod. Oh, I was going to. <laughs> so he's just going to turn around. And he's just going to plow forward like so. It's probably not the full nine inches that he can do. Eh, let's just call him right there. Yeah. And we're going to go into the assault phase. And look at that. Oh. That's the second time he's rolled box cards for his charge. Yeah, really. So he's just going to assault him like that. And he's going to get one haywire attack. Which, oh wait, it's a mobilizer, yeah, so it automatically hits. hits. So it's a glancing hit. Yeah. I glance that drop pod. Don't you get another attack that's like haywire? Your first, your like first oh, attack? the pre. Uh, well, I, I was only going to get one attack regardless. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, I'm strength five. So you know what? Scratch it. So that's going to be the one. We'll call that one the. Uh, the oh, that, armor 12. Armor 12? Yeah. Oh, then I can't do anything to it. I'm only strength five. Oh, I thought you had uh, that first attack. But I'm only going to get, I only have one attack that's haywire. So I either use the oh, grenade or okay. I use the prehensile data spike, right? Got it. So either way, I'm only getting the one haywire attack. Mm -hmm. So so there we go. One hull point there. And uh, back over to here. This guy looks familiar. Don't you have rending? No. No? I thought he has rending. Well, re rending, uh, rending, I don't think gives Grant the AP anymore, does but it? But it gives you uh, D3 strength. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, One second, we're going to double check some things. Okay, so he's reminding me that I do have rending, so I will take my other regular attacks here. The prehensile data spike hit and did a glancing hit to it. So I got five more attacks to make here. Now I'm automatically hitting, so any rolls of sixes are going to be what I'm looking for here, because otherwise I'm not doing anything to it. Yeah. So there's one roll of a six right there, so it's going to be D3. So that's an extra three, so it's going to be strength five plus... Uh, that's a pen. Plus uh, three... Yeah, it's five. Were you keeping track of it? Because I sure wasn't. Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay, so apparently this is a penetrating hit. So let's see what happens to it. 
Hey, look at that. It's uh, stunned. Oh, wait, it's open, isn't it? Yeah, it's open top. Yeah, so, so it's going to be five, destroyed. so it's a weapon destroyed. So no Stormbolter. No Stormbolter. He's down to one hull point. No Stormbolter. In the end, it's not really a huge deal. Oh. But uh, it is what it is. Let's uh, let's see if you can take out this Dragoon over here. <coughs> All right. So uh, I go first. Yep. Grenades, fours. Ooh. And okay. six, fives and sixes. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so I got my two attacks back. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on threes, one wound. Armor safe. Oh, okay. So that is the end of turn five. I think at this point it's a pretty clear victory for the Minotaurs. I think we we're just playing that out to see what would happen. Yeah, um, it was fun. I, I had a lot of fun. So there's the game. The uh, the Minotaurs won. I think you're at the end. You're at like what? Eleven points. Uh, nine. Nine points. Yeah. Nine points to my six points. <coughs> so close game considering. You know, it was a close game up to the very end. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this game. Um, as always, we will have our little post-game discussion. So if you're a Vault member, click the link below. Check that out. If you're not a Vault member, you can always sign up for the trial period. Seven days. Check out everything we have to offer. Uh, we got a lot of really cool stuff in there. And if you like it, stick around. We'd love to have you. And as always, you can always throw challenges our way at miniwargaming.com challenges. We'd love to see you come in. So as usual, happy wargaming.